Hi, my name is Tommy Brennan. I'm the owner of the Pain and Performance Clinic based in Lucan, Dublin. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the best golf exercises for seniors. The exercises I show you today are the movements we do day in, day out in the gym when we're working with clients in person. The purpose of these exercises are to improve your mobility, but also help your strength and power, and of course, reduce your, your risk of injury on the golf course. We believe in keeping your training simple. 30 minutes is absolutely fine. It doesn't need to be complicated or long to be extremely effective. It just needs to be done consistently. Once a week is good, twice a week is better. This session has five exercises in total and I'll demonstrate them all to you right now. So the first exercise we're gonna look at is called the goblet squat. Really good to open up your hips. So get into this position with your feet about shoulder width apart. Hold the dumbbell here in this position and with your forearms you can grip it like that. Just let it rest on your chest there. Now what you're doing is sitting your hips back and down. Sit back and down and from that bottom position push your feet into the ground, push your hips forward. Now if you're struggling for a little bit of depth there, what you can do is just get a thin plate and do the same thing with your heels raised like this. In that position, going through the same movement, but it does allow you to get a little bit deeper. So that can often feel a little bit better. Okay. So the second exercise we're gonna do is to strengthen your arms and shoulders. We're gonna do the dumbbell bench press. In this position, just sit back. Get the dumbbells like this where your elbows just below shoulder height. In this position, my shoulder blades are closed together and then I press up, my shoulder blades open up. Shoulder blades are closed shoulder blades open up and my hand finishes pretty much over my shoulders. There's about a two or three inch gap in between the dumbbells. Third exercise we're gonna do is called the, the three point row. So three parts of your body stabilize you. So you've got your feet and your hand bend over in this position, your knees will be bent. Support your body with one, some way through your hand here. And in this position, what you're gonna do is keep your elbow close to your side, pull it all the way up, all the way down. Now, when you're doing this, keep your chest parallel to the ground, but do allow your shoulder to go all the way down and then pull it all the way back up. So I'm pulling my elbow down and back, holding it at the top for a split second. So the next exercise we're gonna look at is the dumbbell push press. So it's really good to develop some strength and power. Start with the dumbbells on your shoulders resting like that. And what you do is slightly bend your knees and hips. And from there, push up and lock out your arms. The fifth and final exercise we're gonna look at is the reverse lunge chop. So bringing some rotation into the movements. So this leg is gonna stay here. I'm gonna hold the ball, step back and rotate over your front leg. If you wanna make that a little bit more challenging, Hold it further out from your, your body. And that's an extra challenge for stability and for balance. So there's our five exercises. If you're just starting out, it's fine to go with two rounds of that. If you get a little bit more confident and you get some more sessions under your belt, you can add in a third or a fourth set if you like. In terms of what weight to choose, if you're just starting, choose a low weight and just get a few sessions under your belt where you feel fine and you have no ill effects afterwards. If you then want to find your appropriate weight, what I would suggest you do is, you choose a weight that you could maybe do lift 10 or 11 times. 
but you only lift that eight times. So you always have two or three reps in reserve for each set. If you have any questions on this, please feel free to comment below and we'd be glad to help.